I have tried various keyboard stands before and they all have differences and different pros and cons. I found this to have a lot of pros and I'm very pleased with this design. I love the triangular design here on the bottom and um, the wheels come with it, which is really cool. Um, they also give you, um, I can just back up here and show you, if you don't want to use wheels, they give you these feet here as well that you could put on to uh, keep it stationary if you prefer. But one of the things I really like about the wheels is that they um, have a good rubberized material there, like a plastic rubberized, and they also lock. You get to see the locking mechanisms there. They give you two locking wheels, so you can lock them into place, which is really um, useful if you're, you know, playing on your keys, but yet, if you need to move it a little, you can certainly um, do that. Um, one of the things I really like about it is it's so easy to expand right here. You can expand it and lock it in at the level that suits a full-size 88 key keyboard. Um, you also have here, you can put on the strap to kind of go around the uh, keyboard to lock that in. I like that feature as well. Height adjustable as well right here. You can raise and lower the height. Getting the right height on uh, for different you know, people playing. If you have multiple people, that is really good. And finding your ideal height is really key to the comfort and getting set for your, your practices. Um, so even though the frame itself is nicely made, they even have the non-slip pads up here for them. Um, I'm just gonna set this down for a second. I'm gonna put the keyboard on here um, and just kind of let you see it on, on a keyboard here and how it works. So I got the keyboard set up now. I just put that on there. And, you know, as you can see, with the pad and stuff there, um, it really holds it all into place, even as you push. Just wobbling because of, um, I'm putting a lot of weight into it right now. Um, and you get to see that even if you have a bigger keyboard, you have the width there um, for, for certainly something thicker than this, which is um, sometimes good, because I always, if they have built-in speakers um, and things like that, sometimes you have more, uh, room you need there in the back. So, as I said, you also have the straps that can go around it, um, secure it in there to the bottom of your of your keyboard area as well. Um, so, there it is. I found this stand to be uh, a stand to my liking and very pleased with its features, its functions. And to me, you know, it doesn't rock like your traditional uh, fold up collapsible stands. If you've um, used a lot of different styles of stands, you know exactly what I mean. Um, and this is more of a stationary stand. And I feel it's secure using any um, high quality component on this keyboard as well. Sometimes, you know, your keyboards can range in price from anywhere from $200 to uh, $4,000. And um, I would trust any of my keyboards on this stand very pleased with it, like it a lot, and I find it to be very useful.